episode of Chop, and today I'm here on the Providence River in Rhode Island, and I'm going to be chopping a bunker for the barbecue. And by the end of the episode, you're going to see how to make the best seasoned barbecued bunker and scare away that girl that you don't want anymore so you can get out on the water and go fishing more. Yeah, no, guys, this isn't a video about how to cook your own bunker, but it is a do-it-yourself video on how to make your own chum log for your winter flounder chum pot. And today, like I said, I'm along the Providence River here, actually the same spot where I caught this bait. And I caught this bait back in November initially for striper fishing, but really never had the opportunity to use it for stripers. So I decided to freeze it and save it for April for winter flounder fishing here in Rhode Island. I heard there's some, some exceptional winter flounder fishing opportunities here in Rhode Island, and I've actually never had the opportunity throughout my life to go for winter flounder. So, you know, that was a, one of the driving forces for me to keep this bait. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna give it a shot and try it and make a chum log. And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll attract some winter flounder but, and catch some fish. But uh, let's get to it and start making some chum. All right, guys, so I've got a bunch of different supplies here. I've got my chum pot, i got my plastic wrap, and i got four adult bunker, i got my knife, got my cutting board. And uh, the only reason I actually brought the chum pot today is so I could use it as a measuring tool to figure out how big the log has to be. And then I've got my saran wrap here, and this is basically what I'm going to use to wrap up and form the log. But uh, let's get to it and start hacking away. Oh, look at all that blood coming out. A lot of juice is still left in this bunker. All right, guys, so I'm chopping away at this bunker. You know, I'm trying to get these pieces as small as possible because, uh, you know, once I form that log and freeze it, and then I take that log fishing, you know, I'm gonna put the log in the chum pot here and throw this chum pot down in the water. And as this chum pot sloshes around and loosens up and thaws out that chum log, I want these little tiny pieces and particles and juices to flow through this, this screen here with these, you know, these little tiny holes. And what's that, what that's gonna do is create a nice slick of scent and smell and hopefully it'll uh, you know, attract some winter flounder. There probably is a better chum that I could use, like cat food or you know, something like that, but this is free, so that's why I'm doing it. And I'm kinda curious to see if it'll work. All right, well, this first bunker is chopped up into a bunch of little pieces. I'm gonna chop up another one because I think uh, I think two bunker will be good for one chum log. All right, guys. Well, this bunker's all chopped up, and uh, let me just wash my hands a little bit. My hands are gross right now. That's better. All right, guys. So I took the plastic wrap that I brought with me today. And what I did is I ripped off two separate pieces and then tied them together actually with just a simple overhand knot. And basically what I'm gonna do now is just lay this portion down here on the concrete. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna push all this bunker and juices right onto that saran wrap. Okay, just like that. Make sure you get all the juices. Uh, this wind's being annoying. <laughs> this, is, this has probably been the, the windiest spring that I can ever remember. Okay. Got all that bunker onto the saran wrap. And uh, then I'm basically now going to take the, the one section that I tied to the other section of the saran wrap. You know, see here's my little knot that I tied right there and I'm just going to pull it over the top of this bunker here. And it kind of, it's, it's, it kind of laid down there like a log. And uh, I'm just going to wrap it up. Nice and simple. There you go, you got a chum log. It's kind of small compared to this pot, but you know, once I freeze it, it's gonna expand a little bit. And you know, I'm pretty certain that once this expands and you know, because it freezes, I'm pretty certain it'll probably fit into this chum, this chum pot here. You know, it'll fit in just like that, nice and perfect. And uh, you know, there you have it guys.
your own do-it-yourselfer little uh, little chum chum pot bag, and uh, hopefully that'll catch me uh, some winter flounder. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little do-it-yourself fishing video on how to make your own chum log. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see if this bunker chum works to help me catch flounder and attract flounder. You know, when I go later on this month. And um, you know, like I said earlier, I've never winter flounder fished before. I've never caught a winter flounder, so it's gonna be a huge learning experience, and it's gonna be pretty cool. And uh, hopefully, I can get some nice flays and uh, catch some nice winter flounder. And you know, it's just gonna be you know cool and exciting to you know try and figure it out. So, uh, anyways, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, so you know when I go winter flounder fishing or so you know when I catch other species and make other videos. And if you have any questions, post them in the comment section below or look in the description below if you want to know any more information about what, uh, what I was using and how I was filming today, you know, today's video and stuff like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys out on the water. And never forget, fish to live, live to fish.